Hey everyone and welcome to the first video of this course on how to create an appointment booking platform for any niche with WordPress. An appointment booking website is a platform where you can easily schedule all sorts of appointments and services with just a few clicks. Whether you need a haircut, a doctor's appointment or a tutoring session, this platform connects you with the right service providers hassle-free. By the end of this course, You'll be able to build a similar appointment booking platform as you see on the screen, but with your own listing categories, custom listing fields and search filters, and of course, custom styling that matches your company or brand. I would like to emphasize that you're not limited to any niche, whether you want to create a website for booking appointments with tutors, lawyers or doctors, you'll be able to do so by following all the steps in this course. So, let's dive in! In this course I'm going to use WordPress, the most popular website building platform, HivePress, a free plugin for building marketplace websites, and MeetingHive, an appointment booking WordPress theme. Before you start building the website itself, you need a domain name and a hosting plan. A domain name is basically a unique website address and hosting is required to keep your website online and store its files. If you don't have a domain name yet, you can check the available names via Namecheap, one of the most popular domain registers. Once you come up with your domain name, you can simply type it and check the available options. As you can see, there are many options that differ in price and domain zones, so you can choose the one that meets your budget and requirements. Keep in mind that a domain name is a really important part of your future online business, so try to make it unique, catchy, it's easy to pronounce. The shorter it is, the better. After you register the domain name, you need to choose a hosting provider for your website. If you register a domain name via Namecheap, you can also use their WordPress hosting or check if your domain register offers WordPress hosting. It may be a good idea to do your own research and choose the WordPress hosting provider that matches your website performance requirements. I highly recommend using VPS hosting rather than a shared one, since your website will be hosted on a standalone virtual server with its own guaranteed performance capabilities. I'll leave a link to the article on the best hosting providers, so you can check it in the video description. Regardless of the hosting provider you choose, most of them offer one-click WordPress installation. This means that once you purchase a hosting plan, you'll be able to get WordPress up and running in one click. By the way, even if you don't have a domain name and a hosting plan yet, you can still follow this course and create your own website using the local app. It allows you to create a WordPress website locally on your computer, so you can start building your website right away. After you build a website locally, you can then move it online after you register a domain name and purchase a hosting plan. I'll leave all the links to the mentioned resources in the video description. Alright, now. Let's move to the next section where I'll show you how to install the necessary plugins and the WordPress theme. 